Today, I'm going to show you how to use virtual copies in Lightroom. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on Flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. In today's episode, we're actually working in Lightroom. We're going to be showing you guys how to work with virtual copies. Now, these are incredibly powerful. Basically, you can make copies of your photos that exist in Lightroom only. Now, you can edit multiple copies of your photos and then export them out as individual JPEGs. So this is insanely helpful for those of you guys who are shooting events, portraits, weddings, things like that. Oftentimes, it's a great idea to deliver your clients. Here's a color image. Here's a black and white image. Here's a sepia image. And you can basically make copies of your images in Lightroom and then apply those adjustments and export them out. So your clients will be able to get multiple versions of the same files, which is great for you because you can say, well, I've delivered you uh, 300 pictures instead of 100. So uh, you can look like you're providing more value and it doesn't take a lot of time. Not only that, but your clients have a lot more images to choose from. All right, let's jump in. We'll show you how to work with virtual copies in Lightroom. So jumping into Lightroom, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our image today. Now, this is just a stock image and um, here we go. We can zoom in. This is a JPEG. Uh, ideally, you're going to be working with a DNG raw file that you've taken from your camera. OK, now what we're going to do, let's go ahead and hit. We're going to be in our library view. Let's hit G for our grid view or you can click right here on grid view. And I'm going to make a couple of virtual copies here in Lightroom. So very easy to do. Simply right click on your image and go down to create a virtual copy. OK, and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to right click here and go down to create a virtual copy. So we can see we have one image here that's copied a couple times virtually. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to go to show in finder. OK, now let's close down everything else and we're going to take a look. Here is my finder window. So you can see it's not actually making duplicate copies on my disk. This is all within Lightroom. On my disk, we still have just this one image. OK, so that's basically the start of it. Really simple here. Just right click and go down to create virtual copies. Now let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to start making adjustments to the individual layers, the individual images rather, and then we can export these out as separate files. So our first file we're going to leave as is. Now our second file here, let's click on develop. And in this case, I want to say I want to make this image black and white. Now I can scroll down here to my black and white mix and I can choose my different sliders. So we can choose our red slider, the orange slider. Let's go ahead and there we go. Our skin looks great right about there. All right. And green and aqua, we, we really don't have much of that in this image. So I, I think this is looking really, really good. So let's go back to our library here. And this is going to be our black and white version. You know what? Let's go back to develop. I want to add maybe a bit more contrast. So we're just going to click here or contrast and we're just going to bring that up a little bit. There we go. Great. So we've got a color version, a black and white version. And now let's add a sepia version. So this image here, let's go ahead and hit develop. OK, now here we can click on black and white again. And I'm going to scroll down to our black and white mix. and I'm going to take a look at our split toning. Now here I'm actually going to put some color into my highlights so we can bring in some saturation. And then the color we want to choose, we're just going to slide this a little bit to the right. There we go. Just a little bit of sepia color into our highlights. And then I'm going to put a little bit of red into our shadows as well. So let's go ahead and bring up our saturation there. And we're going to go, all right, I want to find like a nice reddish orange. There we go. We're just kind of bringing our shadows. And you can actually click here on your color and you can find the actual color that you'd like. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and just bring our saturation down. So just a tiny bit of saturation there. So we have the same image with basically a sepia tone. So if I hit our library right there, now I can see my original image, my black and white, and my sepia toned image. All right, and we're looking great. So now we're going to show you how to create presets as well as sync images. All right, so jumping back in, we've got our main image, our black and white, and our sepia. Now I'm going to go ahead and import a new photo so we can basically run the same thing on our new photo. So I'm going to hit import here, 
And in this case, I'm actually going to go, we're going to add our image from our, um, from the apply image tutorial. There we go, that we just released. So let's go ahead and import that, and I'm going to click on all photographs. So now let's say that, you know, these were of the same model, same photo shoot, whatever, and we wanted to include a color version, which would be here and here, and a black and white and a sepia. So I can simply right click here, and we can go to create a virtual copy of this photo. And we can do the same thing again. So right click and go to create a virtual copy. So again, when we're delivering our images to our clients, let's say we want a black and white version of each photo. Well, we can do that really easily, either using presets or syncing settings. So in this case, let's start off by syncing settings. So I'm going to click here. OK, then I'm going to hold Control or Command and click on my second image. So we've got our first image selected and then our second. Then I'm going to click on this Sync Settings icon. So let's go ahead and click there. I'm going to go to Check All. So we're going to check all of our settings and hit Synchronize. And there we go. So now we have a color version and a black and white version of this image, and a color version and a black and white version of that image, which is cool. OK, so now for our sepia, if I just wanted to Control or Command click here and sync that, I can do this here, Synchronize. And now we're able to del deliver multiple images to our clients, each get a color, black and white, and a sepia. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on our sepia. I'm going to go to my Develop tab, and I'm going to go back to my Create Virtual Copy. So we're basically going to undo the syncing. OK, going back to our library, let's show you how to create a preset. So here we go. Let's click on our uh, image where we want to create a preset. I'm going to hit Develop. OK, and then here we can see these are all the adjustments that I've made to it. I can add a preset by clicking the plus icon here. OK, we want this to be in our user preset. And I'm just going to call this sepia and hit Create. So here we have a user preset called sepia. Great. So now I can go back to my library. I can choose this image. Let's hit Develop. And instead of doing the sync, all I have to do is click right here on my sepia. And it's going to apply that preset. All right. So if we go back to our library, basically it just did the exact same thing as syncing the settings, but we created a preset in the process. So you can do it either way. But now what we have are our original images here and here. We have black and whites here and here, and we have our sepia images here and here, which is really great because, well, it makes it look like we took a bunch more pictures than we actually did, and your clients can choose. You know, if you're happy delivering them a color version and a black and white and a sepia version, they're going to be thrilled to get that because they're not going to spend the time and it's going to look like you did a lot more work. And then they can go like, oh, I like the color version of this one. I like the black and white version of this one. All right, well, let's go ahead and show you guys how to export these images out. So jumping back into Lightroom, we're going to go ahead and export these files out. Now, I'm going to choose to export out my color images separately from my black and whites, separately from the sepias. So let's hold Control or Command, and I'm going to click on both of my color images to start. We're going to right click and go to Export, OK, and over here to Export. Now, I'm going to click on Rename. We do want to rename these, and I'm going to go to Custom Name Sequence. So let's just type in color here. There we go. We can start on number one. So this, we can see color hyphen one. So this will be color one. This will be color two. OK. And we're going to choose our folder later, which is useful for a preset. So choose the folder later. Let's hit export. And now in this case, we're just going to go to our episode. Here we have. And there we go. Oh, our virtual copies episode. And we're going to create a new folder in here called color and hit open. So it's going to put those images into my color folder. So we'll have a color one and a color two. Now I can hold Control or Command and click on my black and white images here. OK. We're going to do all the same settings, except for here in my, uh, in my name, I'm going to call them BW for black and white. All right. And let's choose a, We're going to create a new folder called BW and hit Enter. And I'm going to do the same thing with my sepia. So we're going to go to Export. I'll call this sepia and hit export there. All right, and we're going to create a new folder called sepia. Great. So I really like this way of exporting our images out because if I go back to my finder window here, okay, we're going to go back and now we see we have a few different folders 
that we can just zip these folders up and deliver them to our clients. So they can click on the color folder and they'll see color one and color two. There we go. Black and white folder, they'll see BW1 and BW2. And our CPA folder, they'll see CPA1 and CPA2. So it's really easy to just send, the, send these the entire folder. And now, again, it looks like you've got three times as much images coming their way with very little additional work. So that's why I love working with virtual copies in Lightroom. If you want to work with virtual copies, just follow these key steps. To create a virtual copy of your image in Lightroom, simply right click on the image and go down to create virtual copy. In this case, we did this twice for each of our images. Next, you'll want to develop your images separately. We made one of our images black and white and one of our images sepia. Next, it came time to sync those settings with multiple images in a series. So you can simply hold control or command, click on the first image and then the second and go down to your sync settings icon. Make sure to hit select all and it'll make sure, for instance, if you click on the black and white image first, it'll sync the second and make it black and white using the same settings. You can also create a preset. Go into your develop tab, click on presets and hit that little plus icon. Create a user preset and call it whatever you want. In this case, we created a sepia preset. Then we clicked on our second image and went over the develop tab, clicked on presets and clicked on sepia and it applied it instantly. Now we have three versions of each of our images. So it's time to export these out. What I prefer doing is exporting out the color with the color, black and white with black and white, and sepia with sepia. So simply hold control or command, click on the first two color images and go to export. You wanna click on rename your files. In this case, I'm gonna click on custom name slash sequence and we're gonna type in color Choose a folder later for presets and hit export. You can create a color folder and it's going to export those images out as color hyphen one and two. And we did the same thing with black and white and sepia. So all of our images are sorted perfectly within folders. Really easy to do and your clients are going to love you for it. Guys, if you love Photoshop, photography and Lightroom as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We're going to send you free episodes every single week. And if you have an idea of something you'd like to learn in Photoshop, photography, or Lightroom, go ahead and tell us in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. That way you can just charge three times as much money. Say, well, I gave you three times the files. I can give you all the black and whites. It's going to be 100. But if you want colors and sepia, it's going to be 300. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a deal. 200.